My name is Dr Ellie Jameson. I have recently taken up the post of Lecturer of Environmental Virology at Bangor University in Wales. I am an environmental microbiologist and I research the roles of viruses, and in particular bacteriophages, in microbial communities. I am interested in how to apply phages to engineer these communities. In addition to doing my science work, I also do art. My art is traditional 2D art and mostly in quite cartoony style, although I do more realistic ink and watercolour art as well. What is my art origin story? Well, I enjoy doing art and it was something I'd turn to occasionally as a hobby. Then I did a colourful study of bacteria with the idea to turn it into a book and shared it on Twitter. This got a lot more attention than I was expecting and everyone was really positive. I still haven't got around to making the book yet, but I started trying Inktober, which involves doing one ink drawing every day in October that I would share on Twitter. And I continued with the science art and made about those microbes and viruses that I know and work with. Every time I post some of my art, I try and relate it to a snippet of information about my subject, or I might have links to publications as a form of outreach. Posting my art has led to commissions from individuals for book covers, logos, figures, or graphical abstracts for papers. And I'm now doing a quarterly comic for the Phage Journal. My biggest sources of inspiration and influence my art are really from my own research into bacteria and phages. But my early influences came from my family. My dad and my granddad enjoyed doing art and I was always encouraged to draw and paint. They did very detailed pencil sketches and watercolours and this has kind of influenced my style. More recently, I interact with a lot of other scientists and sci-artists on Twitter and that community is really interested in supporting each other. But I also get inspiration and critical feedback from my children. They are my biggest critics and whatever cartoons and comics they're interested in also influences my work. My artistic process often starts when I'm trying to write something and figure out how to explain something. I begin doodling in my notebook and sketch out a rough idea. I might do a bit of online reading around the subject and search for some images. This then evolves in my head until I can find more time to do a detailed sketch and then this clarifies my idea for the final piece. After that, I usually push on and keep going till I've finished it. With commissions, it's a little bit different I start with an initial discussion, then I either get instant inspiration or mull it over for a few days before checking that the sketches fit the brief. Then I go ahead and do the final piece. For me, a really great subject is something that I can get creative around, particularly subjects that I know well, and microbiology provides this for me. It is something that I've studied in great detail and get inspired by microscopy images and other great ideas for which no suitable images already exist. This is maybe concepts or ideas that are hard to define easily with words. This can help me with understanding new concepts and I read up on new areas. Having a niche for my art is really good for me and it gets my work noticed. As a more general artist, if I worked on animals and landscapes, I'd just get lost in the vast tide of artists. If I had to pick one of my creations as my favourite, I would have to choose my steampunk phage. I really like the steampunk style and I have the idea in my head for a long time. When I started drawing regularly and sharing them for Inktober, it was one of the first images that I drew to get a lot of attention. I also really enjoyed the process of designing it and the idea of engineering it and solving problems and thinking how the mechanics might work inside it and fit into the phage, and that was really satisfying. Who is my audience? Well, most of my audience are fellow phage scientists, so I share my work through social media, and those are the people that I interact with most. It's quite difficult to break into a new audience, which I found out when trying to get backing for a comic on Kickstarter. My hope is that through social media, the phage journal, companies and community outreach, I can reach a wider audience and impart some scientific knowledge in an accessible and engaging way.